Okay, uh, so we are going to be going through the Rollaball tutorial day today. This is one of the Unity provided tutorials, and it is extremely good. Um, like, I was going to try to create something, and I did, and it wasn't anywhere near as clear. So, uh, it is here on this web page, which, if you could write down Kyle, that'd be great. Yep. Unity.com? Yep. It's still it. Uh, learn slash tutorials. Slash projects. Slash cool. roll of all tutorial, or you can just Google roll of all. It will be the first result. <laughs> okay, so this is the Unity game editor. Don't really worry about like what it looks right, like right now. It will introduce that to you when you guys go off into your small groups to start going through it. But here is the end goal. This is what the camera sees, by the way. And so you can move your ball around with the arrow keys and collect a bunch of pickup items. I need to lower the <laughs> <laughs> I need to lower the acceleration values in that. <laughs> I played around with it a bit. And yeah. Um, one quick side note before you start going through. The Unity editor has a bunch of different layouts. So sometimes when you see these tutorials, it's going to be a different looking editor. Let's see this one. I think. Yeah. So everybody has their own layout of the Unity editor that they like best. Uh, the default one is not like this and it's not like mine. And how you can change that is through window and layouts. I'd suggest experimenting with all of them. Find which one you like most. They all offer the same functionality. Uh, the panels correspond to each other. So when they see, you see the hierarchy panel within the tutorial, it's the same as this panel, even though it's not the same shape. You know. Yeah. Is there anything else I should go through? Is the tutorial a, a video or is this yeah, they have, inside Unity? Yeah, or so video? they have a bunch of videos and these videos have the corresponding code down below if you need to examine it more closely. Uh, they used to have the corresponding code in Java and Python also, but now they don't. Unity is uh, largely C Sharp based, but you don't need to know C Sharp really going into it. It's very simple. Uh, they do a fairly good job of explaining it. Do you want to mention the um, reference? Even, even if you don't go through Yeah, the so they do talk about the reference, but. So. You don't have to program pretty much anything in Unity unless you want to do something custom, and then you add a little script. <coughs> and the script has a bunch of functions that are pre-built in Unity, and there's a website that has all of those functions on it, and if you need to do something, you go and look on here. And this is kind of intimidating right now, but um, everything is gathered in classes, and they'll explain these to you. And each component you want to access is going to be within a subclass. And so, you know, Unity Engine dot Windows, and then you can access your Windows functions. It's so like speech recognition or getting files, etc. Yes. Or so similar stuff of this sort. If you see some crazy function, you're like, what? then it's probably here, and you can go read about it here. And There's a handy search bar up here. Yeah. yeah, so when you come across something, come up here, search for it, then you can read in a little more detail about how it works and what it does. Yeah. And like similarly, if you see a command like rigid body add force, you can see, okay, well, this is what it's expecting. A vector, and then a force mode, and that's it. And if you don't have those arguments, it's not going to be happy. <laughs> 